Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. So, I'm in the middle of watching Justin Roiland's new show, Solar Opposites, which is on Hulu, if you don't know. Now, I'm going to be giving you my initial thoughts on the series as I am currently on episode 6. So, you know, I'm, there's not going to be any spoilers, so don't worry about that. Uh, Justin Roiland's new show, Solar Opposites, my favorite first initial impressions upon the announcement of the show was okay rick and morty is basically going to become what the family guy and the simpsons already are it, what i mean by this is the simpsons and family guy have basically that those creators have a bunch of shows with the exact same art style so we got like family on family guy side we had family guy the cleveland show uh, American Dad, Simpsons, we got Simpsons and Futurama, those are the ones I know about there, maybe more than that, honestly, I have no idea. But now Rick and Morty's becoming that, Justin Roiland's becoming that, you got Rick and Morty and now you got Solar Opposites, two shows with the exact same art style. And, you know, I wasn't planning on seeing Solar Opposites, the main reason why is because if you've watched my videos about Rick and Morty in the past, you know that I'm not a big fan of Season 4 right now. I don't like what they're doing with the show. And so, since Solar Opposites looks like more of the same with Rick and Morty, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to check it out. But then today, I was kind of bored, so I decided, you know what, let me get a free trial of Hulu. Let me check out the show. And I gotta say, I actually do like it a lot. The show actually... You know, each episode has a plot, and I like it. It's a good show. It's So, here's the thing. You know, my complaints about Rick and Morty, if you don't know already, is that season four kind of, it's just very weird to me. You know, it kind of seems like they just took a bunch of random ideas and just ran with it, basically. Just, just put a bunch of random ideas and threw them into an episode and said, okay, there we go, there's our finished product. But in the past with Rick and Morty, you know, there was a plot for each episode, a starting point, a midpoint, and an end point. And a bunch of funny things would happen in those episodes, but it still made sense to the overall plot. Now, I wasn't sure, you know, how Solar Opposite's going to be in that regard. Is it going to be an actual plot in every episode, or is it just going to be a bunch of random stuff happening? And to be honest with you... I thought it was going to be the latter. I thought it was going to be a bunch of random stuff happening, but it turns out I was wrong. Solar Opposites actually has a cohesive plot for every episode. Each episode has a specific plot that has a start point, midpoint, and end point. And I really do like that about the show. Again, I'm not going to go into any details for specific spoilers, but there's just a lot of different things that kind of carry over between the episodes. I'm not going to tell you minor spoiler actually maybe ahead but i'm not going to go into great detail on this but like there's one of the characters in the show uh collects humans and puts them into his wall right and so throughout the season we get to see the progression of this human society in the wall so to speak and so that's cool it's not like okay we just took a random idea this episode and that's the end of it you know you're never going to see it again they're actually you know, progressing, there's actually progression in the show. It's not that they're taking something random, it's a one and off joke, and then we'll never see it again. If they introduce something as a joke in one of the episodes, more likely than not, you're going to see it a couple more times before this season is over, and I'm sure you'll probably see it again in season two. That's what I like about the show. I like that it's actually a cohesive plot in each episode. It actually has a start point, midpoint, and end point, and you can actually tell that planning went into each episode. They're not just taking a bunch of random stuff that they think is funny and calling it an episode. So to all my Rick and Morty fans out there, even if you don't like Rick and Morty, I would recommend seeing Solar Opposites. I, for one, like I said, was not planning on seeing it because I'm not really into Rick and Morty right now, and I didn't want to see what seemed to be more of the same, but it's actually not the same. It actually is different from Rick and Morty. It actually stands on its own as its own thing. You don't need to, it's not something that's like, oh yeah, this is only going to be popular because of Rick and Morty. It actually does stand on its own, and that's what I like about this show. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.